Have you ever been editing your design and trying to adjust the graphic that's in the middle? Well, you have to move it around. You have to add your new graphic. Maybe you have to try to figure out how to put the text in front. Then you have to change all the colors and all of this stuff. Now you can do it way easier in Kittle with our new replace function. So all you have to do is actually grab the graphic that you want to change. You can go over into the elements library or your uploads or wherever, and you can actually just click on the replace icon. And that's going to immediately switch the graphic that you want with the place where the graphic was in your design. And it's going to take on the same colors, the positioning, you can still scale it up or down from that position. And it's perfectly aligned in the layers where it's supposed to be. So we're going to look at exactly how to do that with a couple of different templates here and a couple of different use cases. So let's go ahead and dive in. So over here on the right, we actually have the one that I was just showing you a second ago uh, with the little globe person in there. As you can see, some of the colors were attributed to this kind of tan style you can see in the gloves and in the feet. Illustrations that are more heavily colored that have a lot more colors going on uh, are going to retain their own colors because if you switch it with a graphic, say over here, for example, that only has three colors. Well, if you replace that with a graphic that's going to have say nine colors in it it's going to do its best to attribute the three colors where they're supposed to go but then you'll have those other colors retained and or you'll be able to switch them back if you want so for example let's look exact let's look at exactly what that means so in this t-shirt design or poster design we have capture and create your imagination now maybe instead of this camera graphic i want let's say a video camera so i can go over here into the elements i'm just going to type in video and then camera and we're gonna see what comes up and we have some pretty pretty we have some pretty cool options we have this one which is the exact one that's there and now you can see as I hover over it I have that replace functionality there but again I think I would rather go with a video style camera or maybe we would want to do like an old-school camera I'll go ahead and show you just for the sake of it if I were to click replace here then what's going to happen is it is going to adjust and you can see that attributed all of the same colors because this is an illustration with about three to four colors and it moved into the same color palette and I can still scale it up and down for example holding the alt or the option key from the center because a lot of the graphics at least for posters or t-shirts the graphic will be in the center like that now let's go ahead and move down and see if we can find something uh, more maybe cinematic or old we have some icons that fit that style but maybe we want something a little bit different maybe let's type in cinema see what comes up okay so now we have some kind of older style uh, cinema cameras coming up we have the clackboard that would be really really cool let's see let's just say we wanted to do a flat a flatter uh, illustration like this where we can hit replace and then now we can see it's retained the three colors that are in our design that blue and that black and that cream and then we've also retained the pink that was originally in that illustration but I can easily go over here to say see all colors I can grab that pink and for example and maybe we want that to be the same blue uh, and we can continue working on the illustration that way now What's really neat about this functionality is that it works just as well with images that are not vector. So these have been vector because they they have all these colors that you can see that are easily uh, changeable. You can add border, you can add shadow, all of the same things. But for example, if we wanted to type in florals, obviously a lot of florals are going to come up. Um, but not all of these are vector. For example, these are watercolor but it still will work. So I have this selected. Maybe we want this really, really cool one right here. If I hit replace, it is going to then replace it in that same positioning as it was before, just like if I were to do either of these. Maybe we want these two kind of cool uh, blue flowers right here. I can still move it around. And what it's doing is positionally putting it in the same place. Now, this style doesn't really match this template, but I just wanted to show you that it works just as well for replacing the static images the the very high resolution pngs we have in kittle as well as the vector elements now let me explain where this is heavily useful this one for example is peach so we have the title here peach bliss now where the replace feature comes in super handy is being able to make lots of labels or t-shirt designs or whatever in way less time so for example i'm gonna hit this peach illustration right here and instead of peach let's type in apple 
and now we have this really really cool apple illustration that's here on the leaves which very much matches the style here so i can hit replace it will be replaced just like that and now in this same template since this is now an apple i can just come down here where it says peach I can just go Apple. Everything is, is already set up really nicely for me in this template. Now I'm ready to basically just edit the rest of my template. So instead of organic peaches, put apples and boom. And so now what's really, really neat about that is I can just, uh, I can just duplicate this. So let's say I co copy and paste like with command C or command V, or I can hold the alter option key and drag that to duplicate it. Um, now maybe I want to replace this apple with something else. So maybe we type strawberry. Okay. And this looks like kind of the same style. So I'll just hit replace. And now it has replaced that apple illustration. Now I can still scale this up. Maybe I want to turn it just a little bit. And also I would probably also be changing these illustrations in the back. So there's kind of like two, there's one in the back that's like a, an etched illustration that's faded in the background. So I'd probably find an apple that's similar to that, change it, find a strawberry that's similar to this, change it. But then you get the idea. Now I can come down here and I can change this text to say strawberry. I can say organic strawberry. So this feature is really, really powerful for being able to let you duplicate, iterate, change different designs, labels, t-shirts, even branding elements that you need with one click of a button, as you can see over in the, the panel here, it's just called the replace feature. Super, super easy to do. Now, I did wanna show you again with one more use case. This is a very kind of advanced graphic t-shirt, advanced in terms of the color scheme. So if I were to click on this illustration right here, we can see that there's lots of colors involved and it also looks like we've got a couple of different things going on. So for example, we have one piece here that's behind an element that's black. So we would wanna be aware of that when we are about to replace something. At the current moment, um, you're not able to replace a grouped element. You can replace an item or an object that's inside of the group. So let me show you exactly how to do that. So what we're actually gonna do is just delete the outline for the sake of showing you what it's like to replace an element that has lots of illustration colors in it. So what we're gonna do is grab this, we're gonna right click and we're gonna click ungroup. And then over in the layers panel, now you can see Aloha and now you can see the outline. We're just gonna go ahead and delete that outline because all we're interested in is changing this illustration. So now over in the elements panel, maybe we want to do something like beach because we're gonna have a lot of really cool illustrations that come up with a lot of different things going on, like a beach chair and a palm tree. That's really, really cool as well. We could do some shells. We could do like a whole uh, beach silhouette style, or we could do one of these really, really cool illustrations. For example, this bike with this uh, surfboard on it. So if I just click it, I didn't click replace. I just clicked it to show you how many colors are in this illustration. So for example, we have a lot of colors. One, two, three, four, five. In this illustration here, we have one, two, three, four, five. So that's an example where if I were to go over here and click the replace feature, then that is going to attribute that same style, which is really neat. Now, as opposed to the pink being the border, all I would have to do is go over here and select that black. Now, I may wanna change a couple of other things up here uh, to be a different color, for example, so that things feel a little bit more uh, cohesive with the rest of the design style. Um, maybe something like, yeah, let's see, maybe like this red, or maybe like this green, let's see, something like that looks actually kind of cool. And so now you can see how easy it is to replace heavy graphics, heavy illustrations with lots of color by just discerning how many colors are in one illustration and being able to replace it easily without having to do tons of editing on the colors yourself, which of course you saw you can still do. Another really neat thing about the replace feature is let's say I have this van here in this logo layout and I wanna replace it. Well, I can right click and now you can see replace. And so even though no panels are open, I can click replace and boom, it opens up the illustrations panel where I can then go and find a different illustration to replace or maybe I wanna search up in the search bar or maybe I want to go to a different category entirely like ornaments or something like that. Now in the same way, let's say this badge in the back is something we might wanna change. Right click, I can hit replace. That opens the shapes category, which means I can add another shape to the back or I can go down to the badges, scroll through that and find something I want to replace. So it applies to whatever illustration or shape you are trying to change.
Now, by the way, the replace feature also works with your upload. So anything you upload, whether that's an illustration, whether that's an SVG, whether that's a PNG, maybe it's of your logo, maybe it's of some other kind of branding or marketing element that you use, the replace feature works with your uploads as well. So you can check out all of the different advertising templates and or other templates that have these little elements where you can either replace it with your username or replace it with your own logo or some sort of mark that you have to distinguish yourself from other people and you can instantly use that replace feature and boom it'll pop it over into your template no problem so let me know what you think of this feature down in the comments are you going to use this please let me know if it helps you it has already helped me a ton in not having to add something to my board delete that original one move it try to put it in the layers exactly how i want to i think this is really going to speed up a lot of your all's processes your workflows it's going to to help you get advanced and be a Kittle master faster, which is what we want. So let me know what you think of that feature down in the comments. Now, what I want you to do before you leave is join our Discord. You can check out the Discord link down in the description. And we have so many things going on over in the Discord from different polls that I'm posting so I can know what you all want. We have AI tips and tricks. We have print on demand channels. We're going to start a marketing channel for those of you that want to learn how to edit marketing templates and market yourself better. We have so many cool, amazing features coming for you all in Kittle. And so you're going to want to stay updated. And one of the easiest and fastest ways to do that is in the Discord. So go ahead and join that. Of course, don't forget to comment down below, subscribe and like this video, and we will see you in the next one.